Welcome to Japan Issues. Editorial. If a Chinese spy balloon flies over Japan, is the SDF prepared? There is first a question of whether the government and SDF possesses the capabilities and appetite to deal with a spy balloon or drone over Japan. I would like to focus on the editorial. The Sankey Shimbun, February 9, 2023. A U.S. Air Force fighter jet has shot down a Chinese spy balloon from the skies just off the east coast of the United States. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin explained that China was using the reconnaissance balloon to monitor strategic sites in the continental U.S. China denies that charge. Instead, it claims that it was a civilian balloon used for meteorological research which flew over the U.S. by mistake. The United States is recovering the wreckage of the balloon and plans to conduct a detailed analysis of China's reconnaissance activities. China's foreign ministry has labeled the U.S. shoot-down of the balloon a clear overreaction. It expressed its strong dissatisfaction and protest concerning the event. However, the fact remains that intruding into the airspace of another country without its consent to conduct reconnaissance is spying pure and simple. It is a clear violation of the other country's national sovereignty. The U.S. quickly protested to China prior to shooting down the giant balloon. In addition, Secretary of State Antony Blinken canceled his planned visit to China. Beijing should apologize and realize that it has no right to lash out about the loss of its balloon. The U.S. protest and shooting down of the balloon were natural responses for the sake of national security. A similar balloon was discovered about the same time. That balloon was traversing the skies of Costa Rica in Central America and the South American nation of Colombia. According to a report by a major TV network in Taiwan, such balloons also flew above Taiwan at least three times in 2020 and 2021. The route that the balloon in the news took over the United States has been identified. It is important to note that it passed through the skies over western Montana. Notably, that is where facilities for launching U.S. ICBMs are located within a wide area. It is possible that the balloon was designed to collect intelligence about the deployment of the core nuclear assets of the U.S. military. In any event, the current situation is serious. China is currently rapidly building up its own nuclear forces as it seeks hegemony. Its ambitions are not only in the Western Pacific. Beijing is also pursuing the goal of being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the U.S. in terms of ICBM capabilities. The enhancement of the nuclear deterrence posture to safeguard Japan is certain to become even more important in the days to come. By sending its spy balloon over the U.S. at this time, Beijing clearly has demonstrated its priority. To China, building up its nuclear forces is more important than diplomatic harmony with the U.S. Spy balloon over Honshu, is Japan prepared? At a recent press conference, Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Hidohiko Isozaki acknowledged similarities to incidents in Japan. The Chinese balloon that flew over North America appear very like flying objects seen in the skies over northeastern Japan. Those incidents occurred in June 2020 and September 2021. He added that the Japanese government was currently looking into possible linkage between the sightings. Isozaki was asked about what steps the self-defense forces took at the time of the sightings. On that, he declined to comment. He said the government was afraid to reveal our hand. However, if the SDF cannot ascertain the passage of foreign spy balloons through our airspace or stands idly by when they do so, that would definitely be a problem. Do the government and the SDF actually possess the capabilities and appetite required to deal with spy balloons and drones? In September 2022, Taiwan shot down a drone that flew into its airspace from China. Japan too should be prepared to shoot down and capture suspicious balloons or drones if necessary for its own defense. That's all. Thank you for watching.